Hey YouTube, JW. Got five new retro out the front knives in that I want to show you guys. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them. But I wanted to get them in a video. I've had a real streak here lately of uh, out the fronts. So let's get to it. First one is arguably maybe my favorite of all uh, I got this one from good buddy it's just stamped stainless steel really wanted to get this style of knife in my out the front collection because I didn't have any uh, the top and <clears throat> Uh, just so happens that the camo one was the first one that I got which I like the best so it kind of worked out really good eight inches eight inches overall on that one um, yeah pretty much mint condition and then we got let's see we're gonna go in order here the rest of these all came from the same guy, his private collection, uh, Navy Seal, love that blue. You'll notice this is the same pattern as the Ninja out the front. This was an Edgeco knife, uh, Mark Stainless Italy the same, pretty much like new condition. Uh, these flake off very easily. so. You can see that there's no paint missing or anything like that. You can tell that it's, it was never carried or used. Um, we'll just do this one's not in order, but it's the same pattern as the blue one. Um, NATO military. These are, are, are more common. Um, can even still be found, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, whereas the, the first two are definitely from the 80s this one I'm not so sure about because of this marking right here which is a paratrooper it says para and the stamp is 35 MP Inox which um, you know NATO military based on a German out the front knife the MP certainly stands for military police as anybody that is familiar with you know especially even to this day military police uh, the Germans use that a lot so um, I think this may be a European version of this knife because of those stamps which makes this one kind of a kind of a rare model in its right few little marks about like new condition and we got this guy <clears throat> which until I saw it from the person that I received it from I'd never seen one before um, mint condition still got the sticker there on the bottom from when it was new cool logo Dual action out the front. This one is stamped Patent Ross Frey. Um, you see these come up on sharper deals every once in a while. On the back here, which is unusual, it says H O M E G hmm. I I. Yeah, I don't know. It's in a different language, I believe. But. I like how it has like the little like got like bolster guards like would be on one like a risotto with the no guards. That's kind of cool. Mint. And then probably the one that is the most significant, and I'll tell you why is this one here. Number one, the black hand isn't the most you know black finger black hand I've you know I've seen them around 
you know this one isn't is in as good condition as these other ones but the 666 on there makes it um, unusual whereas uh, as I consulted with some of my collector buddies they've never seen one with the 666 I thought I saw one other one other time just a picture of one on a forum dual action out the front stamped rost fray note the serrations on the dagger blade on both sides but um, I got this from the original owner you know it's a big knife I mean it's it's a big a lot bigger than the other ones they're all the same size about eight this one's about eight and a half but just the overall size of it in general is just larger than the other ones but what makes this one even more significant is that I got this from the original owner who is in his 50s now a collector and um, his dad bought this for him in uh, I'm assuming the early 80s before at a, at a knife show gun a knife show before he was old enough to even have it um, because you know he had to be I guess 18 to buy a, you know a knife and he's had it in his collection all along so it's just the, the story of it and the history and uh, you know the fact that he's still a knife collector today and his dad bought this for him when he was a teenager not even old enough to own it he's had it all these years in his collection and then I was able to get it for my collection which it will it'll never leave my collection but so to me this one is the most rare just for that fact alone but in actuality um, it probably is the rarest one really uh, of them all here um, probably this one this one this one so that's why I wanted to do a video on this um, I picked up all of these knives within the last three months I've had this one for a while but the rest of these I've gotten just within really the last month or so. So, uh, you know, as a out the front collector for a lot of years, I've gotten a lot of bow songs this year. Um, you know, I've got a lot of old collection videos on my channel, but they really don't come close to representing my collection anymore. Um, this is the best year that I've ever had by far. Um, just networking and, and getting into private collections of great guys and trading and stuff like that vintage for vintage and I don't really sell very many knives but um, you know, I cracked 20k on Instagram today so um, it's kind of a milestone for me but I'll put a link to my Instagram below go over and check it out and I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'm just you know I want to have good stuff to show you guys and for a vintage out the front collector um, for new arrivals I honestly I I don't think you can get a whole lot better than this really uh, I don't think you can argue with that so like I said I appreciate it guys I appreciate you guys subbing and hitting the thumbs up if you feel like it and sharing my videos and head over to Instagram and check it out or vice versa and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one thanks